Hello everybody, my name is The Craven and welcome back to some more Europa Universalis 4 playing as Germany. We're almost out of the Regency Council, finally. It's been taking way too long in my opinion, but that's good that we're finally going to get out of that. Yeah, France hates my guts, of course they do. We're upgrading our uh, fleet to completely fully be two-decker so we can actually fight a naval battle and actually have use for the British even though we are still behind in Portugal and France um, hmm well the British do have enough money to build holy crap Portugal 264 light ships Wow yeah we're gonna go have to go it might actually be an idea to go naval but I would really like an administrative idea in between because the tech cost is getting quite high. Um, let's recall from Portugal for now. Um, optimism. Yeah, so it's either going to be economic or administrative ideas. Administrative ideas is useful, but mostly because of core creation cost and all the mercenary cheapness. Economic ideas just gives straight up more money in total. Also, land maintenance modifier. I like that one. Uh, naval ideas. Uh, which one gives the nav most naval? Uh, is that seriously going to be maritime ideas? Naval force limits. Hmm. Grand navy. Oh, we lost our trader. Um. Yeah. So we can easily afford a plus three, but I think I'm just going to pick up a plus two with a new trader, basically. But yeah, we can't afford it for a change. Seriously, we, we could just build all the buildings in Germany ever. I'd be quite uh, happy with that. Um, there are still some level three forts. I do want to get these fortresses built eventually. Um... But having s hang on, how is our tech going? Yeah, we're getting close to that point where we can actually tech again. Definitely gonna get admin tech uh, 619. Hmm. Very close, very close. And then again, I could build more constables. I'm just gonna build one for now. Just so I can get it out of my system that I wanted to build a building. Also, isn't. Uh, our kid almost ready to see ascend to the throne? June 1st, beginning of next month. Leads personal union, succeeds to the throne. Oh, Württemberg, yeah, okay, but that's probably not the most um, useful one for us. Scandinavia, there we go, three, two, five. So at least we're getting some points again. Eight. 5, 12. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that at 12 for now. Ah, uh, that would make taking a naval idea just so much better right now as well. Alliance offer from Lithuania. But they are still at war with France and Scandinavia. If I accept this, they will call me into this war. And that would end the alliance again. You know, how the hell is Port Poland not in this war? I'm gonna decline for now. It doesn't hurt to, well, reject the lines. That's a small penalty, but it's not as big as rejecting a um, outright call to arms, which I would be doing. Oh, we have no legal heir right now. I'm gonna focus on administrative, though, because I want to get the, an administrative idea still. Yeah, and we're almost at the tech level. That we can unlock the idea and then just race through and on and on and on. Constitutional monarchy, what are we right now? An absolute monarchy, right. Quite useful for that um, autonomy everywhere. That is dropping a lot faster, I would hope. Westphalen, it is dropping at. 0.2 every month, so it should be gone in no time. Anyway, the Constitution. Another group of ideas. We'll check in a second what we'll want. 
Anyway, constitutional monarchy is even more monthly autonomy change. Your legitimacy, manpower recovery speed, instead of national unrest discipline and monthly autonomy change. Well, this is just going to be more. Your legitimacy, um, yeah, we already have quite high legitimacy, so I don't see the need for that. Except culture threshold, not bad either. Enlightened despotism. Anyway, let's look at the administrative ideas. Religious ideas is probably out of the question. We have everything um, converted anyway, so that would just give us, well, it would eventually just give us the day's vault. I mean, permanent Casbele against neighboring heathens and heretics, but we can get Casbele easily anyway. Economic is solid, administrative is solid. Expansion, there's not enough uh, to get any more with colonists. Um, otherwise, it gives some other bonuses that right now are not that interesting anymore. Okay, I have a feeling there's a big war going on again. Because my frame rate dro dropped to like 10. And that's if I slow down speed, it will go up a little bit, but not enough. It's quite low right now. It's. Went for harvest. We are blessed. Wow. 850 ducats for free. Your thing. Humanist. Um, also, not really necessary. We have. Well, the years of nationalism would be amazing for our co future conquests. But other than that, I really don't see a reason to get it. Lost nationalism against them. Innovative could be good. Um, yeah. Mercenary cost, tech cost, decay less, reduce inflation. It's it's just general things that could be useful. Advisor cost though that that helps quite a bit. Then again, there's an administrative that gives you a lot better mercenary deals. Then again, our army is big enough and our manpower is big enough that we don't need as many mercenaries all the time. That would be core creation cost would be useful, but that already goes down with administrative efficiency. So that would be even more. Uh, yeah, it's going to be economic. Basically, just more money in general. Uh, build cost down as well, useful. I mean, we're gonna try and get even more manufactories going then, I suppose. Hmm, let's build one refinery. Um, already barracks. We actually have quite a few barracks already as well. It's quite good. It's 48 the highest we can get out of new barracks. Um, I think it is 48 here as well. Oh, 52. That's gonna be built. Take capital of Tokachi from Ainu. Well, I think that's in uh, Japan somewhere. Dry docks. Uh, what do they give? Ship building time, ship repair. You know what? Let's work on all the sea things so we can actually have a bigger navy as well. And that was the end of my Diplo power. That's also a thing indeed. So, oh, that's the wrong button. Let's actually have a look at current wars. Relation, current wars. Spain against Tunis. Britain against Cusco. Scandinavian Russian imperialist war. Russia. Genoa, Lithuania, Timurids versus Scandinavia, France, and Crimea. Yeah. Polish conquest of Philippi. Philippi. It includes Austria as well. Whoa! Look at them go. Yeah, there are quite a few wars going on, and that is just destroying the frame rate a little bit, which is annoying. Yeah, it seems recently that the later in the game, the more the EU4 frame rate gets just hammered. For no reason I know. I mean, we 
I have it on high stuff, so you know what? I'm just gonna do that for now. Let's see if that changes anything. Nope, not well, it's it's three or four frames better. Not much. It's not a lot, that's for sure. Okay, fortresses. Um no tech will be currently six eighty six. Oh Modena, no. Yeah, um, our armies Elan strikes fear into the enemy. Well, free percent twenty five prestige. Holy crap! Um, yeah, that's right. Half of the people that really hate me due to uh, aggressive expansion are already considered vassals. Diplomacy. Are we still in a truce? That is actually weird. Allied with Spain. Oh, hello there. Um, we do have some more claims going on. We have a claim on Brabant. So are you still allied with France? Yeah, you are. If we were to declare war in the Netherlands, it would be Scandinavia, France, which are both actually a little bit busy over here. How big is the French army right now? I wonder... I do like looking at this. France, France, France. Yeah, 150,000. Actually rivals my own strength and army size. Um, yeah, let's build 10 more heavy ships. Our uh, force limit will go up pretty damn soon anyway, because I'm going to build a couple of uh, shipyards. Yeah, but not having Diplo power is not quite useful. Um, does it cost me? I, have quanti I don't have quantity ideas, which means I don't get uh, to pay just 8 power to get new stuff. I need to find out what I could declare war on. I think if I can... Modena. Do I have an option to declare war on you? Well, there's imperialism. See, now this is a war I can get behind. Uh, enemy allies, I would not... Um, I don't want to make them co-belligerents, that would be pretty bad. But this will draw in the Netherlands as well, so we need an army ready to just take over there. Actually, that should be this army. Um, Austria. How big is Austrian army right now? Wrong button. Ledger, Austria. 60,000 with no manpower. Yeah, we can deal with this. I'm gonna go to Salzburg. So I'm declaring war on Modena. They're in a the coalition, which means the whole coalition will join. Which includes the Netherlands, which I kind of want to get out of this coalition anyway. Uh, Milan will join. I think actually Milan might be a bigger problem than uh, Austria, right? Seriously? Come on, total. Germany, biggest army in the world. France is next. Lose, lost some troops. They have a uh, low force limit compared to what they are fielding. Good going, Great Britain. Um, Austria. Milan is actually not really anywhere. 38,000 for Venice. Oh, the Dutch have a bigger army than Milan. Oh, right. 18. Yeah, I think that's going for Modena, giving it to Mantua. Oh, sure, why not? Okay, did you just declare war on someone? Oh, you joined the war against... Oh, okay. You were called into war against Scandinavia, which means that all of the Netherlands is now undefended because you just got all your troops out of there. Russia, Genoa, Lithuania, and the Timurids. Um, so we're attacking Modena. That calls in quite a few people. Austria, Savoy, and Venice call upon the coalition members. Netherlands, Milan, Bavaria, and Modena. Screw it, I'm doing this. Oh, right, the recovering stuff. Hello, Dutch fleets. We do have something for that. Seriously, did the Dutch fleet get massacred or something? Oh, wow, there is almost no Dutch fleet left. 
That's perfect, really. Um, those are light ships, so I'll send in the heavies. Just as a help. Um, split up twice. You split up as well. One in Antwerp, one in Ghent. And with you in Brabant. Okay. Um, we know they're at war. Austria is in the war. Savoy, Venice. Um, yeah, we do need this army to go. Was Milan in a different war already? No. So their army should be around here somewhere. Um, let's split you in two and send one of you into Vienna. Uh, let's slow down just in case. Chernigov. Mm -hmm. Okay, also, um, subjects, all of you, aggressive. Go do whatever you like. Go and help out stuff. Rule the seas. Have less heavy ships than 30. Any known country have less sh heavy ships than Germany. We can't actually make that happen because um, that's, there's only France right now above us with 50. So, sure, sure thing. Claim a rival's province, Zurich. Oh, okay. Well, we cannot do it right now, of course. We're in the middle of a war with Austria. So, I'll rule the seas instead. Battle of Coast of Holland. Wait, what? They took a ship. Also, there's not even a full blockade going on yet. Holy crap. Out of Southern Norwegian Sea. Medina entered the military alliance with... Yeah, they're running to Parma. Interesting. How long are the sieges lasting? 106 days for each phase. That's ridiculously long. Does it matter if I send in a second group? I'm not sure. Just want to check this out before doing anything here. Does that slow down? No. The fact that we have like 16 units of artillery is helping though. Okay, split you in two again, and send one of you out. Yeah, it's a very, very, very long siege modifier. That's annoying. Mm -hmm. I need to flounder, and I just want to get that completely sieged before... Oh, crap! Now we get the chance to do this? Um... <coughs> <coughs> We have one army going around down here. Oh, the Austrians just built something. Okay, we do have to be careful. I would like to upgrade my units, but let's attack the Dutch army over here. Okay, how the hell are they not fighting the Genoans? I thought they were in a war together. Well, at least here goes the holy crap. That's some reinforcements. France no longer considers Austria to be their rival. Well, we are getting some aid. Oh, wow. Are we actually still winning this one? Yeah, we are. Better discipline, better rules, apparently. Well, hopefully the Dutch will retreat all the way back to the Netherlands, and they aren't, and they're going to Nice. Gonna try and follow them. They probably cannot even retreat back home at all. And... Ah, they just recovered a little bit. And there goes the Dutch army, and they're gone. Okay, um... That always sounds so freaking loud. Actually, it's good to sing Galen. I want to recover this army before doing anything with them again. Uh, but that did um, really boost our side. The Dutch lost their army completely. We still have... Yeah, the Austrian army is the biggest, but... They're also kind of stuck in uh, the Ottoman Empire, I believe. And here they have seats the capital of Constantinople. Anyway, I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I will see you guys later.